welcome back to get baba in this lecture i am discussing the stability condition of floating bodies okay in before lecture we will deal with the submerged bodies that is very easy case but the floating case are not easy these are somewhat difficult why because whereas in the case of fully submerged condition the volume of fluid is not changing the shape of volume will change with rotation but the volume content will not change but whereas in floating condition here you can see initially the volume of fluid displaced is this much only okay this cross section area multiplied with the the width okay so this is the initial volume after tilting what is the volume volume on one side decreases whereas volume on volume on other side increases so the buoyancy the point of buoyancy force will decrease will shifts from initial position to the right position if it is tilted rightwards okay so that is the difficulty here whereas in submerged condition the volume of fluid is constant whereas in the floating conditions due to the tilting action some 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 fluid is displaced in the right direction whereas some fluid is not displaced in the left left side so it is not sufficient to express the stability condition with just with just knowing the g and b locations okay whereas in submerged condition we if we know the locations of g and b we can say whether it is stable unstable or neutral but in floating conditions we can't say directly by looking at the picture okay because of the the unequal volumes so some extra parameter is needed to define the stability that extra parameter is called the meta center that is nothing but capital m represented with capital m the meta center the meta center is obtained by intersection of the initial line of the initial vertical line with the new line of buoyancy force okay initially the line of buoyancy force is vertical upwards okay exactly matches with the g in this case if we tilt the condition if we tilt the body if we tilt the ship this is a ship cross section front view by the way if you tilt the ship then the line of action of buoyant force will change so the if you extend the line of action of force and if you extend the if you extend the initial central vertical line okay at the at the intersection point that is called the meta center okay but why it is not sufficient to describe the stable condition with just g and b the technical reason is i, I explain the theoretical reason the technical reason is if if the weight of the if the weight of the body in the right direction is much more when compared to the left left side that means some some containers are very heavy in the right side direction whereas some containers are very light light heavy in left side direction that means the mass is unevenly distributed so if mass is unevenly distributed then the center of gravity will change so the line of center of gravity is here for example okay it is the line of center of gravity i am rotating this body i am tilting the body in clockwise direction and the couple and the couple also if you just join the head with the tail it is also clockwise couple so it is unstable condition whereas if g is in original location then it is stable condition why because it is producing anti clockwise couple okay the clockwise couple is cancelled by anti clockwise couple okay here the case is same the b is the same point and the g is above okay so g is above b that means that is the case of unstable equilibrium in the in the submerged body but here the g above b is giving two conditions the stable condition and unstable condition okay that's why another parameter is needed to describe the stability if m is above g then definitely it is a stable condition if m is g below g then that is unstable condition okay from this diagram i can easily say that if m is above g that is creating anti clockwise couple whereas i am i am giving the clockwise turn so it is cancelled by the anti clockwise couple produced by the buoyancy buoyancy force and the weight okay so if m is above g then that is a case of stable if m is below g then that is a case of unstable equilibrium if exactly m matches with g then that is a case of 
neutral equilibrium everybody knows if meta center is above g what does that mean that means the gm value is greater than 0 then that condition is stable if gm is equals 0 then that condition gm is the distance between the point g to the point m meta center gm equals 0 that is a neutral if gm is less than 0 that means the point m the meta center is below the center of gravity then that is a case of unstable equilibrium okay there are so many repeated questions on this concept in ies exam okay if you you can easily count with the fingers those many questions are asked based on these three lines gm greater than 0 gm equals 0 and gm less than 0 that much importance for this concept and this gm is called the metacentric height the gm is called metacentric height whereas m is a metacenter so our next aim is to find the metacentric height to check whether it is less than 0 or equal 0 or greater than 0 so how to find the metacentric height gm it is nothing but bm from b point to okay let me take from b point to m point that is bm bm minus minus bg so from the total distance i am deleting bg distance then that will give you the gm value okay where b is the initial centroid of the displaced volume okay where b is the the centroid of the volume of fluid displaced that means this much b is the centroid of this entire volume okay volume which is which is displaced by the body volume of the fluid which is displaced by the body be careful while solving these 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 questions because these are somewhat tricky you have to be very patient while solving these problems okay and g is the the center of gravity of a body it is independent of the volume it is independent of the it is independent of the volume of liquid displaced okay for rectangular and cylindrical bodies it is very easy to find the bg value okay let me show you that also here it is a free surface of fluid liquid water okay i am inserting a cylinder the total height of the cylinder is capital h and the immersed immersed volume is small h this much height okay so here what i want to find bg bg where g is here and b is here the buoyancy force upwards and the gra and the weight downwards it is a point g so bg is nothing but h by 2 minus h by 2 yes or no where capital h by 2 is up to this much distance from the from the bottom okay this much distance in that distance i have to delete i have to delete this much distance okay this is nothing but h by 2 small h by 2 half of length it is half of length so i am getting this 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 value as h by 2 minus small h by 2 for rectangular case also it is same I, I mean the cubical case not a rectangle for a cubical case the same formula applies initially you have to take the total height divided by 2 minus immersed height divided by 2 this is a very important relation and now come to the calculation again gm is given by bm minus bg here the bg problem is solved now we have to find the bm and that is very complicated part so I am giving directly the relation for BM that is I by V V is the volume of fluid displaced whereas I is the least moment of inertia the minimum moment of inertia that is the area moment of inertia not mass moment of inertia ok what is the meaning for the least moment of inertia ok let me tell you down this calculation of metacentric height where GM is given by 
bm minus bg bg probably is solid we have to find the bm value bm is given by i minimum divided by volume of fluid displaced okay so why to take i minimum and what is the i minimum in this case i just taken the cross section the cross section of a ship at the free surface okay i am just cutting the ship above above part of the ship i am just cutting the ship above part of the ship so i am just taking the free surface the free surface here it is the free surface of the ship okay there are two conditions that the buoyancy force may change its position the first condition is rolling if the ship rolls that means if the ship rotates about its lateral axis that means the long axis length axis then the buoyancy force that means the ship is rotating about the lateral axis this is the case this is the case so the buoyancy force is shifting towards right or towards left based on the rotation okay and if the ship rotates about its transverse axis that is the short axis then then also the buoyancy force will shift but it will go into the paper and come out of the paper that we can't see here okay the pitching condition the pitching condition will give you the buoyancy force shifting into the paper and out of the paper whereas the rolling condition will give you the shifting of buoyancy force right side or left side okay with our perspective views okay just rolling is nothing but the the angular deform the angular moment or the angular deflection about the lateral axis the long axis the length axis and whereas the pitching is the very very small angular deflections about the short axis the x axis okay here it is x axis or a transverse axis so here there are two possible conditions moment area moment of inertia about the transverse axis and area moment of inertia about the longitudinal axis which area moment of inertia you have to take let me write the formulas for those two cases the area moment of inertia about x x axis that is nothing but pitching pitching okay that is it is nothing but a rectangular cross section at the free surface so b d cube by 12 here b is the width that is nothing but b is given b and what is the height that is l l cube b h cube by 12 or b d cube by 12 it is the i x x whereas i y y so it is also rotating oh, in the case of rolling about the linear axis the longitudinal axis so i y by becomes so width times height by width times height cube by 12 that is width is length l b cube by 12 here which is greater value definitely moment of inertia area moment of inertia about x axis is greater why because more area distributed far away from the axis whereas in case of longitudinal axis only only the area is very closer to the axis it is not distributed far away whenever the area is distributed far away that gives you the highest value of the moment of inertia from this values also you can say that here the length is greater than length is greater than the width so if you cube the length the value is be higher but in this case the width is cubed so there will be no that much difference if you cube the width okay so definitely i x x is greater than i y y okay now we know the formula that gm the metacentric height is given by bm minus bg that is nothing but bm the general condition is i by v not minimum by v i by v the general condition minus bg here i will tell you why the minimum condition we have to take if i take the minimum value of i value here the minimum value of the moment of inertia here what is happening if this is minimum then this total ratio will become minimized so the total the total the total sum sorry the total difference will be minimized yes or no that means gm will also be minimum yes or no or if you take the other case the other case is gm equals i by v minus bg okay listen carefully these are very important if, if I take the highest value of moment of inertia, then this ratio will become higher. 
then this difference will also becomes higher then the gm will also become higher here my intention is to maximize the gm value because the stable condition gives you when gm is greater than 0 okay but i am taking this condition why because if i design the ship so that i can get the positive value of gm for longitudinal condition longitudinal condition what is the longitudinal condition that is a rolling so if i design a ship which will give you the positive value of the metacentric height with the least moment of inertia then that ship will definitely give you the highest the positive value for the pitching condition okay so design for rolling condition so it is very safer that you can sustain for the pitching condition also so there is no special design for the pitching condition needed why because you are you are taking the least value to positive so if this becomes positive then always always the ixx will be greater than iyy so definitely this will also be become positive okay that's why to for the spectra of safety we design for the rolling that is the most important thing i want to tell you for this 10 minutes so design for rolling so that so that the pitching condition is also adjusted automatically okay no need to design extra so the moral of the story is design for the rolling that means gm equals i minimum divided by volume of fluid displaced minus bg bg or not okay bg bg is h by 2 minus h by 2 i told you the relation also okay in the next lecture we will see the time period of oscillation and uh, the stability of floating bodies which are containing some fluid some liquid okay i don't give you any derivation for those just i will tell you the procedure and what is the idea behind them the concept behind those things okay thank you for watching